Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to who lives at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Now, pretty much all I know about this is the fact that it's like the deepest point in the ocean. And I swear it's near like... God, isn't it near like Japan? I swear it's like near Japan, but I might be so far off. That's pretty much all I know, to be honest. It's the deepest point of, of the ocean that we know of yet. Because, I mean, I think, what is it? Like, we know 5% of about the ocean pretty much like we i feel like we know more about space than we do about our own ocean or it's some we don't know much about our ocean pretty much and it's something like that but it's the lowest known point of the ocean and yeah i'm interested in checking this out hopefully going to enjoy if you want more reactions like this let me know in the comments what you'd want to see i just want to see mariana i want to compare this to to the grand canyon Wait, depth. It's probably gonna say to be honest, but so that and then Grand Canyon depth. I guess at deepest point. Oh, you probably heard that. Oh, mate. It's six thousand feet deep at its deepest point and eighteen miles. At its widest. Wait, 80 miles at its deepest point or just 60,000 feet deep? But it's 18 miles wide. I guess it's just 18 miles wide in general. Oh, mate. Okay, the, gra the, the Mariana Trench. That's, that's, that's nothing compared to that. Though. Now, this is going to be a wild video. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy. Links are in the description to my Patreon. There's been a lot of Patreon reactions, re reactions I've done since my YouTube was blocked and i was suspended on here so if you're interested in that links are there same if you want to follow me but on instagram and twitter links were there too but let's just jump into this something about it before haven't you as we were all taught in very deep place on our planet it is called the mariana school. trench you've probably already Ever. heard something about it before haven't you as we were all taught in school everest is the highest place oh, on earth i thought you said as we were taught in school about the mariana trench but we aren't taught we aren't taught about the Mariana Trench. I mean, it's not where I'm from, but I don't know if it's taught in other countries. And perhaps you learned that the Mariana Trench is the deepest, and that is probably all you learned. The average person's education ends there. Few okay, are okay. given a larger account of the how and why of this mysterious abyss. You cannot imagine what secrets this place hides, and how strange are the creatures that live there. This deep furrow in the earth is in the west of the Pacific Ocean, near the Mariana Islands, from which its name is taken. The Mariana Trench is a huge V-shaped trough 1,500 kilometers long and more than 11,000 meters deep. Something as tall as Everest could easily be dropped into this vast and near bottomless wow. channel, Jeez. while still leaving more than a kilometer of water to the surface. What and now fuck? about the inhabitants. For ages, it was believed that emptiness reigned and life there a priori was impossible in such a remote and monstrously deep place. The Soviet ship Vityaz proved otherwise in 1958. Scientists discovered life at a depth of 7,000 meters. More and more evidence was revealed that the creepy, inhabitants creepy, of the it? Mariana Trench existed not only in huge numbers, but also that time and the eons had not affected them in the least. In addition to all kinds of bacteria, invertebrates, and mollusks, there are enormous unidentified creatures to this day. These are real monsters. 1960, oh, Jacques Picard, a Swiss researcher, was the first to attempt an expedition to the bottom of the Gargantuan Gorge. Jacques and his partner, with the help of the deepwater bathyscape Trieste, reached the lowest point of the world ocean, the so-called Challenger's Abyss, almost 11,000 meters below sea level. These two brave men stayed there for no more than 20 minutes, you but they psychos. saw enough to say there I respect is you, I respect you, but you are psychos. There's no way I'm doing that, man. Especially in the 1960s as well, because I guess nowadays it would be a lot more less worrisome because like, I guess we've done it a lot since and we know our technology nowadays is just 
so advanced we can do this kind of stuff without any real fear but in the 60s man like obviously technology was still good in its own way and in its time then but it was a whole new thing and I guess you're the first person going down there oh nah not for me man that's wild I can't imagine how how scared they would have been maybe not maybe they were just excited I can't stay there for no more than 20 minutes but they saw enough to say there is life on the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The discovery was a worldwide sensation, is 1,100 times higher than our normal sea level atmosphere, approximately three tons per square centimeter. Even iron bends under such monumental wow. forces. Wow. But the local fish somehow feel nothing. Huge clams and strange subspecies of fish unknown to science bizarrely thrive in such conditions. But the discovery of life at a depth of 11,000 meters is not the only thing that made this dive famous, or should we say infamous. Many years later, the records of Jacques Picard's logbook were declassified. The blood runs cold in the veins at the information found therein. The researcher records a terrifying event about halfway to the bottom of the abyss. Quote, a large disc-shaped object is accompanying our bathyscape and is visible through the porthole. The object is maneuvering and clearly looking at us. The object was seen clearly. There was no mistake. Unfortunately, or perhaps one, huh? to the joy of our adventurers, the object disappeared from view after a few minutes. I was thinking it was the lampfish, but he literally said it was a disc. Who or what it was is still unknown. Our lack of knowledge about the nature of this phenomenon suggests that it may indeed perhaps be a creature from an unknown underwater civilization or maybe some descendant of some more ancient intelligent beast. Speaking of ancient creatures, 1985. The crew of the American ship Glomar Challenger carefully studied the bottom of the yawning, crushing concavity, lowering the nine-meter ball-shaped device called the Hedgehog into the depths. Suddenly, the computer began recording the strangest sounds. The cables holding the probe stretched and stretched and stretched almost to the breaking. The researchers rushed to bring the device back to the surface to find out the reason for these strange happenings. They attempted to reel it in, but the hedgehog wouldn't budge. There, in the depths, something held fast to the device and wouldn't let it go. Finally, after three hours of fighting, their machines could at last raise the probe. The unknown force had released it. And then, as the probe was pulled from the sea, a terrible sight was revealed to the scientists. The probe looked as if it had been in the jaws of an underwater monster. There were bite marks on the plating, and some of- All right, relax now. It probably just got caught in some rocks or something, though. No? Unless it's actual bite marks, but don't don't scare me too much, you're right? Nah, but I mean, if that's, I guess, there's many other things that, that could be, again, it could be the rocks, it could have been stuck in between rocks, and it could have been rocks, and rock. okay, if my only example is rocks, and damn, maybe it was something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The steel cable. Like, imagine those, again, I can't remember the name, but the fish with the lights in front of their heads, but imagine them, but as, like, great white, great white sharks. I don't think that would be possible, because I think the fish in that depth have to be a lot smaller. Or the, li the living creatures or whatever have to be a lot smaller to survive. But just imagine a shark-sized light fish. Again, I don't know what it's called. Anglerfish, right? That's what it's called. A shark-sized a shark anglerfish. How big are anglerfishes? I'm not going to spell it right, but water's wet. Because <laughs> they they're actually quite big, aren't they? Three... Oh... Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare, man. Is this real? Nah, this is fake. <laughs> is, that, is that an anglerfish? Bro, if they're three, f three foot three, or three point three meet, feet, I can't speak. Three point three feet in length. Feet! Oh, no. Oh, that would eat your hole, probably. That, wait, how big are dogs? <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter, does it? 
but damn. ...had been torn off. What kind of creature could have done this? The incident caused quite a bit of consternation. The condition of the cables and platform was simply astounding. To contain this wave of fear, as all the team members were extraordinarily frightened, the official version of the incident was that the platform got stuck on a rock, which is what caused the damage. That's but the I'm crew saying. knew that there was something huge and enormously powerful there at a depth of 11 kilometers. According to the official version, everything was the same as previously discovered. The bottom of the Mariana Trench is covered with various mountains, but the precise area where the studies were conducted was barren. There was not a single rock. There was nothing for the probe to get caught on. If that were so, the onboard instruments would have alerted them to a collision, but that did not happen. And apart from the terrible damage, there were still those horrible, heart-rending sounds, which no one has ever explained. Later, biologists Sound. suggested another more sensational version of the incident after systematically reviewing all of the long-term reports from the researchers. Their verdict? That a giant relic, the monster Megalodon, damaged the cables and platform. <laughs> This huge prehistoric <laughs> oh, shark, old, which weighed 50 <laughs> tons and was 22 meters in length, is a long extinct ancestor. Bro, I want to know what actually lives at the bottom. Not just not giving me these, these this fantasy stuff. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, if he's right, then shout out to you. But you're definitely not. And again, I thought you were just going to show me like creatures at the bottom of the ocean of the modern sharks of it was believed that they disappeared more than a million and a half years ago but if the report is correct then megalodon did not depart this world after all but found shelter in the depths of the mariana trench <laughs> this idea did not come out of nowhere the scientists had discovered a giant tooth the size of a man's hand a thorough okay. study confirmed the tooth did indeed belong to the ancient creature Megalodon. No way. Oh. Some years later, a... Their teeth are the size of your hand, bro. Oh, no. Fuck me. Those sharks would have been crazy, man. Oh, man. Imagine that biting your hand. Like, I mean, let alone your hand. It's biting your whole life away. But just imagine it biting your... I don't even know what I'm saying. But just imagine it. It's, its tooth would literally just go. Like, one of its teeth would just split your hands your hand and part obviously the teeth are next to each other so it'll always obviously cut it off anyway but just imagine one teeth going in tooth going in yeah your whole hands ripped up ripped apart your whole arms ripped apart mate and again that's the least of your worries if you experienced or if, if you faced one of those because you're dead japanese <laughs> dry cargo ship which passed over the storied trench received a severe blow to its side which literally made the ship jump in the water. At the same the time, the water surface was absolutely calm. There were no reefs or other obstacles nearby. The crew of another vessel traversing the Marianas, the Federico Padre, saw in the distance a huge column of water jet into the sky, expelled perhaps by some beast. Just imagine the horror the sailors must have experienced. And here is the most recent example. Scientists, during a recent expedition, discovered an unusual jellyfish, which, now and then, looks something like an alien from another planet. Oh, the body of the jellyfish, with its long tentacles, glows red and yellow. Scientists have captured it on video. <laughs> the creature belongs to the jellyfish genus Crossota and has two sets of tentacles. The tentacles, as we can see, extend eerily elongating while the body remains motionless. That's crazy. This behavior indicates that she hunts for her prey, luring them into an ambush. This bizarre creature was discovered in a mysterious and little known area of the Mariana Trench called the Submarine Peak of the Enigma at a depth of about 3,700 meters. Perhaps we have been looking for aliens in all the wrong places. While we look to the sky and peer far into the heavens at some distant planet, they are right under us. They are closer than we think. Whatever the creatures are, strangely, the ocean is now studied even less than outer space. And hence, go. in the future, we can expect many more fantastic discoveries. Yeah, man, the stuff that... The stuff that... The stuff... The creatures that 
are in the ocean that we don't know about, or they're just water-based creatures, I guess you could say. I guess, like, animals in rivers and ponds we know a lot more about because it's not as deep and it's just easier to research. But in the ocean and, like, the deeper parts of the ocean, there's there must be so many animals, sea animals, whatever, that we just don't know anything about, we've never seen before. Oh, it's crazy, man. And it's probably part, well, it's partially because we humans haven't had the opportunity to, like, destroy it and stuff. And now we're getting to the point where we're now exploring it. Oh, no. Hopefully we don't mess up some more species, but let's read some comments. Who else is fascinated but extremely terrified of you? Yeah. I would never go in the ocean, I mean, in terms of swimming it. I don't really like going on ferries. I don't like going on... Well, I've never been on a plane. I've been on a ferry once. But the one time I... No, I've been on a ferry twice. I went somewhere and then I came back on it. I hated it, though. Just scary, isn't it, for me? But I can't swim either, so I'd be absolutely screwed, but... Yeah, the ocean is very scary. I don't know what scares me more, though. The ocean or space. Combined, they're both just... Yeah, I guess I guess probably space because it's just so much further away. But, oh, no, because the ocean's weird, man. The ocean is so weird. Like, I'll, I'll go to the beach and I'll go, to, like, into the water until it goes to, like, my... My, my flipping hips, probably. But other than that, nah. I'm not, a, I'm not really, like, that fond of going any further because, again, I can't swim and... Yeah, I'm just not an ocean man. <laughs> if aliens evolved in our oceans, they wouldn't be aliens, yeah. Yeah, I think he was just saying that to be honest, just to make the video more suspenseful. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Fun little reaction. Again, I thought it was going to go more into like other animals that are in the Mariana Trench, but I still enjoyed it, I guess. But yeah, let me know some more reactions you want me to do soon. And maybe some better videos on this specific topic. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.